Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Godhanda Raman. In this section, we are going to discuss with the Lagrangian method problem. Look at this problem. A rectangular box open at the top is to have a volume of 32 cubic feet. Find its dimension if the total surface area minimum. First of all, let's consider f function. f is nothing but f function x comma y comma z is nothing but uh, function of x y z which is to be examined maximum or minimum this is a to examine maximum examine for maximum or minimum maximum or minimum and then another function g of x comma y comma z equal to 0 this is nothing but connected some relation the variable x y z connected by some given relation subject constraint connected by some given relation look at this problem here rectangular box open at the top volume given find the dimension of total surface area is minimum so total surface area find total surface area minimum so rectangular box total surface area minimum so therefore the f function is nothing but uh, rectangular box the surface area surface area is nothing but x y 2 y z 2 z x because of 2xy, 2yz, 2zx but one side is open at the top. We consider fish tank. In the fish tank, inside water or sand, whatever we felt, we are going to calculate in this dimension, x, y, z dimension. Now, let consider this surface area is f, x, y, 2yz, 2zx and then g function is a relation subject constraint. The subject constraint is nothing but volume the volume is given volume is equal to x y z 32 cubic feet therefore let g equal to x y z minus 32 now the function capital f is nothing but capital f is f plus lambda g here lambda is lagrangian multiplier so f x y 2 y z 2zx plus lambda into xyz minus 32. Now differentiate partially with respect to x. When I differentiate partially with respect to x and equal to 0. Therefore, though f by though x equal to 0. When I differentiate this equation, x only the variable, other values are constant to consider x differentiation 1, y constant, plus 2y z constant 0, then 2 z constant x differentiation 1, plus lambda x variable differentiation 1, y z constant minus 32, 0, equal to 0. In this equation, y plus 2 z plus lambda y z equal to 0. So, from this equation to calculate lambda y z equal to minus y minus 2 z then lambda equal to minus y minus 2 z divided by y z. Now, I consider this is equation number 1. Now, differentiate this equation I will consider 2 and the previous f plus lambda g equation I consider 1. Now again differentiation 1 with respect to y. Differentiate 1 partially with respect to y and equal to 0. Therefore, though f by though y equal to 0 from this equation, the x y when I differentiate x constant, y variable differentiation 1 
plus 2 y variable 1 z plus 2 z x 0 plus lambda x constant y variable then 1 differentiation z minus 0 equal to 0 x plus 2 z plus lambda x z equal to 0 lambda x z equal to minus x minus 2 z lambda equal to minus x minus 2 z divided by x z now I consider this equation number 2 now differentiate again 1 differentiate 1 partially with respect to z and equal to 0 therefore though f by though z equal to 0 though f by though z 0 in this equation x y constant 0 plus 2 y constant z differentiation 1 plus 2 z differentiation 1 x plus lambda x constant y constant z 1 minus 0 equal to 0 2 y plus 2 x plus lambda x y equal to 0 lambda x y equal to minus 2 y minus 2 x then lambda equal to minus 2 y minus 2 x divided by x y this is the equation number 3 this is the equation number 4 this is a 2 this is a 3 third equation now differentiate equation 1 with respect to lambda differentiate 1 partially with respect to lambda and equal to 0 so though f by though lambda equal to 0 from this equation the f function total all the function constants are 0 plus lambda differentiation 1 x y z minus 32 constant equal to 0 so x y z 32 0 then x y z equal to 32 this is the equation number 5 now equation 2 and 3 2 and 3 therefore the second equation is nothing but lambda equal to this is the second equation lambda equal to minus y so this is our second equation lambda equal to minus y minus 2 z divided by y z and the third equation so this is the third equation lambda equal to and lambda equal to minus x minus 2 y x z so whenever I am looking this equation left hand side equal therefore right hand sides are equal when left hand side lambda equal then right hand sides are equal so minus x minus 2 z by x z then minus y minus 2 z by y z now cancel z term and now taking minus common so x plus 2 z by x then minus I will now taking y plus 2 z by y now cancel this minus now cross multiplication so when I am doing this cross multiplication x plus 2 z into y y plus 2 z into x multiply this is the right left hand side this is the right hand side when I multiply this x y 2 y z then x y plus 2 x z to cancel this x y on both side and then we have 2 y z equal to 2 x z 
now z and 2 common therefore 2 cancel z cancel x equal to y now next third and fourth equation i compare with equation number 3 and 4 sorry 3 ah uh, 3 and 4 third equation and fourth equation so third and fourth equation is nothing but lambda equal to so this is a third equation lambda equal to minus x minus 2 z by x z so this is a equation third equation and the fourth equation and fourth equation lambda equal to minus 2y 2x by xy this is a fourth equation I mention left hand side equal then right hand sides are equal therefore minus x minus 2y this is a third equation 2z 2z by z then minus 2y minus 2x by xy so the third equation x z so therefore I just cancel this x both side common and taking minus common out x plus 2z by z then minus when I am taking 2y plus 2x by y minus cancel then cross multiplication x plus 2z into y then 2y plus 2x into z when I multiply inside this bracket xy plus 2yz equal to 2yz plus 2xz now cancel this 2yz therefore xy equal to 2xz now cancel this x term y equal to 2z and then z equal to y by 2 now taking this equation number 4 so 5 in equation 5 so substitute this is a 6th equation and this is a 7th equation these are the 7th equation so substitute 6 and 7 in 5 substitute 6 and 7 in 5 is nothing but x y z equal to 32 x then y is nothing but x equal to y so again this consider x z is nothing but y by z sorry y by 2 y by 2 32 now y again x equal to y so x x x by 2 32 x cube equal to 64 then x cube equal to 4 cube x equal to 4 so when x equal to 4 now x equal to y so y equal to 4 and then z equal to y by 2 therefore z equal to 4 by 2 z equal to 4 by 2 2 so the dimension is nothing but therefore the dimension are 4 cm 4 cm 2 cm thank you